Okay, I wanted to talk about discovery and polars. Uh, these are two of the main central concepts to uh, LibriNMS. It's how you get all this information that you see here and how it constantly updates uh, forever. So if we click these three little buttons right here and go to capture, this is just a basically uh, a little debugging uh, tool they have here. Uh, so you can see what these scripts are running because every five minutes either uh, the polar script runs uh, the discovery script runs every six hours uh, by default and both of these are changeable um, you can go to one minute polling but you need to do a lot of other things um, it's just not a simple uh, one click thing um, but if you are going to do one minute polling just do it from the start and make sure everything works because you know changing all your files around after it's all done uh, it's probably not that fun of a task. I'm sure it could be done, but, you know, might as well start with one minute if that's what you're planning on doing. So, yeah, just start off at one minute, and um, pretty much every, if you did one minute or five minutes, doesn't matter, but every minute or five minutes, it will run this script. Um, and so if you click run right here, you will see actually what the script is doing, outputting, um, and finally finishing here. Uh, so, um Yes, you can see that uh, it's added all sorts of stuff in here. And if you go through the top here, you can actually see all the values that it's pulling from the device. Um, yeah, you can see it inserting it into the database. You can see it updating our RD files. Uh, you pretty much can see everything. So a lot of the times, if your equipment stops polling for whatever reason, you can come in here. If you could ping it, um, you could probably come in here and just run polar and see where it's getting stuck at. And it'll probably be right at the beginning saying, you either can't ping it from here or uh, SNMP is not working. Um, but um, for any other values, like maybe you're looking at a graph and it's not matching up what you think it should match up with. Um, so you can go in here and actually see exactly what uh, LibreNMS is pulling from the device, uh, what uh, SNMP OID and what uh, value it is pulling. So uh, this is very helpful for troubleshooting, um, especially when uh, you're adding new OSs into here. And that's more on the development side, but um, it's a very, very helpful tool. So keep in mind that this Polar script runs every minute or five minutes. Now every six hours, another script runs. And this also runs when you first add the device into here. And this discovery script basically finds a lot of the information that the Polar needs uh, to do its job. Um, it's basically uh, trying to figure out the OS, uh, where it should look for things like interfaces and, and other things like that. Uh, maybe this maybe this particular device has a lot of other things it needs to pull, um, and SNMP, other MIBs. Uh, so it just finds it all in there, and then it tells the polar how to pull it. So you could run this, and it's the exact same process. You can see what the script is doing and what it's outputting uh, and when it finally finished. So now that you understand that this script runs every six hours and this runs every f minute or five minutes. All right, so if you want to see how your polars are actually doing, you can go to uh, the little gear icon, polar and polar. This will actually list all the polars you have installed and they're talking to LibreNMS. I only have one now, so obviously all the devices are going to be pulled from this single device. Um, and in here are a lot of stats you can see of, of how it's performing. Uh, so if you see here, uh, we have one device that was actioned in the last five minutes. And when, anytime I say five minutes, you can also say one minute. Um, it's, it, it's just depending on what interval you, you select. But uh, it basically says one device was actioned in the last five minutes, and I had zero pending after that five minutes. Um, so this is good. Well, I only have one device, so it better be able to do that. <laughs> um, so if you had maybe 500 devices and it tried to pull all of them, the next time it reports back after the five minutes, it might say, oh, I can only get through 450. I still have 50 devices pending. Um, and so in that case, what you would have to do is actually increase this workers here. 
um, or if you notice your CPU utilization on this machine is already maxed out, then you need to add another polar. And that's where distributed polling would come in, and I'll make another video about that in the future. Um, so this, th the same concepts would happen to the second polar, though. Uh, you would still adjust this worker number, you, this discovery number is the same thing. Uh, every six hours you'll see that a device actioned one, uh, and uh, it would have zero pending, uh, since there's only one device in here. Um, and this is saying five for alerting. I actually don't think these are actually working correctly yet um, because I've seen stuff where I've turned off alerting completely on there, but it's still there. So I'm not sure why they do that. Um, so I'll have to look into that. But uh, to be honest, you're usually only alerting uh, these last few here. You're only doing those on a single node anyway, and they don't take up nearly as much uh, CPU and processing power as these two. So these two are usually be the main ones you'll be looking at most of the time. And finally, if you and if you want to know what worker threads are, let's just talk about that for a second. Uh, basically, these are the number of processes that at the beginning of the five minutes, when it gets, let's just say it gets 24 devices to be actioned, uh, it will spawn 24 separate threads or, or uh, processes that are doing that polling script. So uh, each one of those will happen and they'll report back and uh, it'll be done for that five minute interval. Now, if you had, you know, 500, it would do 24, it would finish, you know, some, some scripts are going to finish sooner than others, so, you know, you might have one that takes a second, and it's already on its next one, where you have another uh, one of these workers that's still uh, processing a, a device that has 100 interfaces on it, so... Um, that's going to take a while, so it might it might sit there. Um, and usually, when you're playing with this number, you'll end up seeing that uh, you need to just watch your CPU utilization. Usually, if you put this to some crazy high number and you have a ton of devices, you'll see that the CPU uh, will max out right away because it's trying to pull all of them right at the same time. Whereas you really kind of want to spread that out. You don't want to. You you might be able to complete them all within the single five minute interval, but it's not necessarily that uh, they need to all be done right away as soon as possible uh, so you can kind of scale that down a little bit to you know flatten that CPU it's, it's really just a game of uh, adjusting this number and um, uh, watching the CPU and in order to adjust that you just click on settings here and you will see just like in this list you had one polar here you would have another one under here another one under here the settings would be the same one here's that first polar you'll see the name and another polar another polar and each time you click on these you will see different uh, settings for each polar um, and you can see this is set to five right now for polars is that what it's actually set to no because you have to restart you actually they don't tell you this in the, any of the documents but you have to restart the uh, Libri NMS service uh, when you set this and it will report back after that and it might take up to the next five minute reporting interval for it to actually update because these numbers only update every five minutes um, so after the five minutes the script reports back hey I, this is what I did this is what I got done after all the stuff you gave me um, so you can see and kind of see there um, how it's how it's performing. All right, so the last little part here is just the uh, polar log. Uh, we can just see a list of all our devices in here. Uh, this will be every single device we've had in LibreNMS, um, and it'll tell you the last time it was pulled and how long it took. And this is usually just helpful to make sure that, oh yeah, it is pulling uh, every five minutes. Um, I just look at my time and compare it with this time. And I also uh, know how long it took. Um, so you can actually sort this by seconds and see which devices are taking longer than others. Um, and you might be able to investigate those and see why they're taking so long. Um, so that's that's a good uh, troubleshooting tool, uh, just for peace of mind, at, at the very least. Uh, the other other thing here is uh, polling time, and this graph will actually stop working after the first thousand or so devices. Um, so if you if you're thinking about a very big setup, I wouldn't rely on this graph too much. Um, I think because it's trying to gather uh, every single device it pulled time. Uh, it's not being able to do that uh, when you have like 10,000 devices. I, I think it'll do it eventually. It's just we don't allow enough time. Uh, the, the processes uh, in LibreNMS don't allow enough time for that to happen. Uh, and here are just all the modules, and we will go over that in another video. Okay, I think that wraps it up for polling and discovery. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment, 